Okay, so we wanted to take a second and give you a little bit of our thoughts um, around these three acronyms, right? The MDR versus EDR versus XDR. Right now, there's just a, a huge amount of confusion in the industry. So we really wanted to take a second and give you the deep seas perspective of these three acronyms and how they could fit into your potential security program. So the first thing to talk about is MDR, right? And the, what's important to understand is this is really a category of vendors, right? MDR, if you, if you don't know, stands for Managed Detection and Response. And that really implies a couple things, right? Because a lot of security tools need Intel, of course. They need that detection intelligence. And so this category of vendors that are in the MDR space um, are essentially signing up to manage that detection piece, right? So they're going to push threat intelligence, IOCs, right, signatures, things like that, into those security tools. And then the R is, of course, managing that response piece as well, right? So they'll deal with the triage of those alerts that are being generated by that detection intelligence. And then if there is a threat, um, they will actually conduct those response actions, right? They might include something like containing a host, right? Maybe deleting a binary, deleting a registry key, right? Something like that. Um, the one thing that is worth mentioning here is we kind of joke around the office a little bit, the difference between MD big R and MD little R, because not all customers are interested in a vendor uh, actually executing a host containment on behalf of the customer. Um, and so what we call that situation is MD little R. And so in that case, um, the vendor or, you know, deep seas might provide the customer a recommendation to say, you know, we should contain this asset or we should um, delete this binary from the host, right? A situation like that. So, but the important thing to understand is MDR is really an umbrella term um, for this kind of managed detection and response ideology that really covers a category of, of, of work that's being done. EDR is a little bit misunderstood, I think, because it can represent either a service or a technology. And I think that's why this is a little, a little confusing. So the technology side is really when we're talking about EDR agents, right? And the term EDR was really born out of the ideology that, under, that people were understanding that antivirus is no longer sufficient. There needs to be more capabilities um, in these endpoint agents that we have. So an EDR agent, right, that endpoint detection and response agent is something that generally speaking is, is, uh, is capable of much more sophisticated detection techniques um, and then also those response actions, right? Being able to surgically respond on the host, do those things like delete a binary, delete a register key, or contain the host and still be able to manage it, right? So you're not just shutting off the network access on the host and then actually dispatching a tech to physically put hands on the asset. So that's what we're talking about from the tech side. Where this gets a little bit confusing is there's also a service side to EDR because there are a lot of MDR vendors out there that offer EDR services, right? And these come in all different kinds of flavors um, from you know, those MD big R, MD little R flavors, also down to the line of, um, you, they, they might rename it something, right? We've seen words like MEDR, right? Managed EDR or EMDR, endpoint managed detection response. Right, and so this can come in a lot of flavors, but the thing to understand is that there's really a tech component um, that's out there and you're really talking about that agent on the endpoint. And then you're talking about the service, which is who is working with that agent on the endpoint, making sure that it has those signatures it needs and that, that it, you know, you're responding to the threats that it detects. Last, we have XDR. And the thing to understand about XDR is this is really talking about a technology platform Right, the X in, in XDR stands for extended detection and response. And the challenge that we've had historically in the past is MDR vendors really can work with a, a variety of different things, right? You might have, obviously we talked about their connection to EDR, but you may have also heard something like NDR, right? Network detection and response, right? And so the challenge that we have is what if I need to put a block on a firewall? What if I wanna uh, block, block a website at the proxy level um, will my MDR vendor do it, right? And historically that answer has been challenging for MDR vendors because um, kind of extending that reach into the infrastructure is, is, is challenging to do. And that's kind of where the XDR discussion starts, right? And that's where that extended detection response starts. So this is really kind of a platform that really is focused on extending into the infrastructure side of security so that some of those actions that are historically kind of challenging for MDR vendors to address, like, a, like I mentioned, a firewall block or a proxy block or maybe um, something happening on a router or a switch, 
Um, and that really pushes that into that layer. Now, a lot of recently, a lot of MDR vendors have also been extending their reach, their ability to do response using technologies like um, SOAR platforms. <laughs> Draw it like this. Um, using SOAR platforms. Because these, these orchestration platforms allow that kind of integration with, a, with the infrastructure layer, and it doesn't take away from the MDR company's capabilities um, you know, beyond that. The challenge that we've historically seen with XDR is that um, XDR has really been introduced to the market as an ecosystem. And so, you know, you, you have these ecosystems that are out there and they don't play well together, right? Um, and so we've seen a lot of customers struggle to go to an entire XDR ecosystem and instead are looking at their MDR vendors to extend their ability to do response actions through something like a SOAR platform. So hopefully that brings a little clarity to it all.